Hi everybody, in this video I'm going to show you how you can add more sharpening stones or wet stones to your Daisy private community server because with, I think is it 1.09? Definitely with 1.10 you can no longer fix your axes and saws with some duct tape, which was always a little bit odd in the first place, wasn't it? They're going to have to have sharpening stones, so we're going to need more of them on our servers. So let's dive in. Now, I'm using Nitrado as an example here. Um, um, your server provider could well be different, but you're looking for something like a like a web interface. You may well use FTP to access uh, your server. What we're looking for is the types.xml file. So we click on this on our Nitrado server. And this gets us into the dashboard and we're looking for the file browser so we click down here on the file browser and that takes us on a playstation and an xbox server straight into the, uh, the the missions folder now if you're on pc you've got to drill down a little bit more to get to the missions folder but once you click on that you'll then see something maybe like this now uh, this is Chernerus because this is a Chernerus only server. You might see Chernerus and Enoch. Now, Enoch is the name for Livonia. Um, so, whatever the server is currently running, click on that folder. So, this is running Chernerus, so I'll click on Chernerus. And then, once we're in here, we need to go into the DB folder, which is here. And the file we're looking for is the types.xml file, the one you can see at the bottom here. And then we download that. Now, once you've downloaded it, make sure you make a copy. So that way, if you make an error and you can't recover the error, you'll be able to go back to the original file and start again. So here we are in the type. So let's control F. And in the types.xml file, which is really the, the engine of the loot economy within DayZ, the sharpening stones are called a whetstone, W-H-E-T-S-T-O-N-E. -E. So let's find the whetstone. There, is, there it is. So we can see the whetstone has a nominal value of 70, so there should normally be 70 on the server. They start spawning back in when that number drops down to 50. Um, they're only counted on the map, so that, that's cool. It means that they're not counted if people pick them up, or they've got them in tents, or they've got them in bags, or they've got them in barrels, or that sort of stuff. Um, however, they're classed as a tool, but they're only found in farm areas. So we can expand that. I'll show you how to do that in a sec. So first things first, let's, let's increase the nominal. Let's go up to 100. And let's change the minimum to 90. Now remember, we're adding 30 in. So really, you should go somewhere else in the types and take 30 of other stuff away. You know, Some of the dress shoes take them away. The cropped hiking pants, that sort of stuff. The stuff you never use, well, apart from for making rags. So that we're adding something, but then we take something away. You're pretty safe to add between 25% and 50% of a particular item, as long as you're just concentrating on specific things and you're not doing that to the whole server. Because we don't want to overwhelm it by having to keep an eye on and spawn in all these other items. So we've got... We got another 30 spawning in, so that's cool. But let's see if we can spread them out a bit more. So at the moment, they only spawn in farms. So let's let's copy that. Let's paste that usage name in again. Let's paste it in again. Now, loot in Daisy is often uh, it has a category name, so tools, so what it, what it is, and then the usage name, which is kind of where you would expect to find it. Um, and there's all sorts of usage names. Now, two of the most common places that you will visit in Daisy are towns and villages. So what we can do is we can add town or village to the usage name. So if down here we change farm to town, and then we take that farm to village, like so. Now what will happen is as your players are wandering around the server, um, if they go into a town or a village and where tools would normally be spawning on shelves, which is normally in lockups, um, in garages, in sheds, that sort of stuff, they've got a chance of finding a sharpening stone, of finding a whetstone as well. So it's a little bit more user friendly, especially for beginners who probably don't even, you know, imagine the fact that items in Daisy have specific places where they will spawn you know there's there's like there's a logic behind it you know but by doing this it makes it easier for them to stumble across a whetstone which they then can use to keep their axe sharp and and you know there's nothing much you've got an axe and then it gets ruined and you've got to throw it away 
so there we go so that's how we've added some more wet stone so at this point you would save the file and then i always re recommend people go over to somewhere like um xmlvalidation.com and upload your file and just check it just to see if you've maybe deleted some of the angle brackets or that you know there's triangular brackets by mistake or you've added something and here it'll tell you if you know if your arguments are invalid or the syntax are invalid within the xml file now sometimes you get false positives especially with the spawnable types xml whereby it will see the way that bohemia interactive do their comments and um, there's one about an army comment that pops up that is a false positive that the game you know says no this is the game doesn't recognize that as an error um, within the XML files, but some of these XML validators do, and you can ignore those ones. But if they're about invalid syntax and arguments and opening and closing tags wrong, you've probably done something and go back and look at it. And this is another argument for doing things in smaller chunks as well, because if you just change a little bit at a time, if you do make a mistake, it's much easier to go back and find out where you made that mistake rather than changing dozens and dozens of values in an XML file, making a mistake somewhere, then having to troll back through to see where you might have added an extra full stop or missed out a, a triangle bracket or something like that, or an angle bracket. Once, you, once you're happy with that, go back to your server and stop the server, upload the types.xml file, restart the server, and those extra wet stones, those extra sharpening stones will start spawning in and your players on your server will be very, very happy indeed. Anyway, hopefully you found that video useful. If you have, hit the like button. If you want to see more of the same, press subscribe. Thank you very much, and I'll see you again soon.